one of those adult things I suppose one has to do at some point. For many, making a plan to divide assets feels like an overwhelming task. And that's evident from the findings in a recent survey by Angus Reid. It's an even split. Half of eligible Canadians over the age of 18 don't have a last will and testament in place. And the other half have taken matters into their own hands. We have kids and we just don't want to make sure that everything's planned out. Probably when I have a family, I think, or like, like, like a nuclear unit or something like that. I don't want someone else have to deal with my stuff. I want that to be my, de my decision. It's not a huge surprise that those that fall on the younger side of the scale say it's not something they worry about. But one in five Canadians over the age of 55 are also lacking the will. Something that Calgary lawyer Judy Stewart says could lead to big problems for the family left behind. If you don't have a will, what the law says is that your property um, is uh, is to be sold immediately and distributed in accordance with the law. So it's very complicated and complex and then the most important thing people need to know, cost. According to Stewart, most people put it off simply because they don't know where to start. She says they are often unsure of who to grant guardianship to or who to appoint as executor. All the same, she says not having one is a bigger burden on your loved ones. You don't want them to have costs. You don't want them to have needless anxiety. You want them to be able to grieve and to look after your kids and anything you've left behind in the way of stuff and get on with their lives. Stewart says that having a plan in place gives you the power to make decisions about your assets. And by not, there is the potential of significant tax burdens that can be passed on. In Calgary, Shilpa Downton, City News.